I'm here to read for you again. Hello, Cellulite and Love Tarot, or Hillary for short. There was apparently an ember on the table there and it burned my <laughs> my almost elbow. Hmm. Happy Manifestation Monday. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the heck? <laughs> Do you feel a little off today? Cause I feel a little off today. I don't know, maybe it's just the day. I don't know what's going on with the planets because I'm not an astrologer, but you know, um, maybe something to do with that. Let me know if anything funky is going on. <laughs> Today's reading is going to be all about your manifestations. We're, we might see what's going on with your manifestations or uh, maybe some things to be aware of with your energy around manifesting. It could be just some general information about manifesting as well. I'm going to turn down this. Just a couple. Okay. My brain is like... Okay, I'm excited to see what's going on. Hopefully we get some stuff here that is super helpful for you. Okay, I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. I'm behind on comments, so I will get back to it today. Um, I did see all of them, I just haven't had time to respond. So thank you all so much for your amazing love and support. I am going to respond to the comments that, you know, warrant a response. <laughs> Especially from my from my favorites, you know, my my OG team here. Okay, anyways, let's get to it. I'm gonna clear for you. Clear for me. Okay, deep breath. Alright, we're gonna start with monology oracles, okay? Spirit, my higher self. My darling's higher self, thank you so much for using me as a channel to guide and instruct. I ask for the most clear and concise messages, information, feelings, and sensations to come through for the betterment of my darling and for the highest good of everyone involved. Thank you so much, Spirit, and thank you so much for being here again. I just got really tired out of nowhere. That's weird. I wonder if that's related. See what's going on with my wonderful darling's manifestation. What do I need to be aware of of their manifesting journey? Some energy we should be aware of, or you know, just, let's see what you want to tell me, spirit. You and your loved ones are safe. A new romantic cycle begins. Confidence is your key to success. Okay. I feel like I'm picking up on the energy. Off the bat, it's big romance, obviously, but I will try to interpret it generally as well. But this original story that I'm hearing, is there someone who is maybe trying to manifest a new beginning in love and maybe they have some hangups because there might be children involved or there might just be a history of possibly abusive partners in the past that would make you reluctant on moving forward into relationships now. Um, I also feel like you just don't feel confident enough in yourself, in your self-concept, that you don't really believe that you will find a good, healthy partner. Um, self-concept is important and it's nothing to do with self-esteem. You can... <laughs> I mean, once you work on your self-concept, your self-esteem changes, yes, but uh, it's all about the story that you tell yourself about how the world interacts with you. Your concept of self, it is your belief about who you are. So if you believe that you are someone who is never going to be treated well, that you are never, you know, uh, the chances are low that all men, all women are dirt bags or you know, uh, gold diggers. If you tell this story to yourself about how the world behaves around you, you know, how the world interacts with you, basically, then that is what you will, you will continue seeing, right? I feel like there's real emphasis here on focusing on your self-concept, right? Focusing on that you do attract healthy partners, that healthy partners are, you know, possible for you, that you are well respected, that you are adored, that you are, you know, held in high regard, that you are uh, cherished and loved and valued. And all of that starts within you. It's not even outside of you, right? The story that you have to change and what you have to change is you. It is the feeling that you're embodying. 
I feel like I feel like there's real emphasis here from the universe, from spirit, to remind you that it all begins in you. You may be looking for something outside of you to fill something in you, but the real place where it starts is in you, okay? So the reason why you and your loved ones will be safe is because you will keep you and your loved ones safe. Do you see, right? You're not putting your safety in the hands of others, of someone else. You're putting your safety in your own hands. Your confidence, no one else can build your confidence for you. You build your confidence for you. That's why it's important that you're not looking to change anything outside of you. You're looking to change you. Because if you change who you are, if you change who you are and you say, I am confident, I am deserving of love and respect, then you will not settle or entertain a 3D world, a 3D experience with people who don't show up that way. And they won't ruffle your feathers because you will know once you align energetically and you change who you are from the inside out, you won't even be tempted or anything by people who, who reflect differently to you, right? It'll be, it'll put you off if someone treats you less than you are worthy of. You won't take it personally. You see how it's important to change the story of who you are? And this could be about more than just love, okay? I love that it can go generally too, because this is about more than just love. This could be about loving your life, okay? This could be about life in general. The whole point is to change you, your belief in you. Okay, let's jump into some tarot. That was a lot of energy for two cards and a bottom card for uh, oracles. Let's see. Spirit, can you give me some tarot here about this uh, wonderful darling that I'm reading on today? Ooh, five of cups and strength. I like that because you're facing that negative mindset with strength. You're resisting the temptation to fall into a victim mindset. You're already aware of this. Okay. want me to know with tarot here about my wonderful darling and the situation that they're dealing with and their manifestation journey. Landed sideways. Wheel of Fortune sideways. Page of Wands. Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Hermit. Oh, thank you, Spirit. The Knight of Wands. I like that progression. Four of Wands. <laughs> oh, a Seven of Wands on bottom. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune came out neutral. I don't know if you can see this. So, I like that because this is talking about the relationship between your current self and your future self, okay? You and your, your now self and your future manifestation self, right? And I like that this is neutral because it's not saying no. It's not saying, it's saying that divine timing is waiting for you to align with what you actually want, right? But it's right there. It's like, as soon as you step into this position of embracing a little bit more confidence, right? Getting a little lighthearted with it, getting a little less serious, being a little bit more, uh, fun and carefree with this page of wands, right? Page of wands is all about adventure, all about passion, determination. They're ready to go. They are excited, right? It's like, it's like they're not hindered on any of the challenges ahead. They almost don't even think about the challenges ahead, right? They're just excited to do it. They're excited to do new things. And I feel like this is embodying this feeling of don't be afraid because the Page of Wands is not afraid. <laughs> They're not afraid. And I love that it's facing this Queen of Cups because the Queen of Cups is the highest, most self-loving version of yourself. This is the ultimate like self-concept at peak optimization, right? <laughs> she loves herself so much and she loves the world around her. She embodies that love and then it projects around her, right? It's not just that the water is connected, oh, it's a little glary. The water connects to her through her feet and it's like her, 
her dress, her cape almost blends right in, almost like she is a waterfall, right? I say that because water is emotions. Water is that feeling state, right? And the feeling state is so important for manifesting. That's why the tools that you use, whatever that is, scripting, visualizations, sats, you name it, like the tools are not what bring in your manifestation. It's the tools that put you into a state of feeling, the end state. And that feeling, the more you get into that feeling, the end state, that is what manifests your new self, right? Your new 3D reality, right? That is what brings it in, is that feeling state. So I love that she is completely connected, but through a source of complete self-love and like I said, like optimized self-concept image, right? Now, I feel like this is what you're already stepping into, right? Or this is just right up ahead. Like you're, this energy is here because you're already kind of touching it a little bit, right? This energy of leaving fear behind, of being fearless, of gaining your confidence, you know, changing your self-concept, all of that is already here because you're dipping your toes in at least, right? This has been after a time of intentional, self-isolation, right? And maybe the self-isolation at first was because you needed to heal, because you needed to separate from 3D circumstances that keep telling you a story that you don't want to repeat, you know? Um, but it's a good thing. The hermit is so wise, right? The hermit is so, so very wise. Now, it is funny to me because the hermit also, his feet here are frozen to the mountain, okay? It's like his feet are stuck. And so the hermit has this lantern here with this light. And all this hermit would have to do is put the lantern down at his feet and it would melt the ice and make him able to move forward, right? The light within him, this inner light, this inner knowing, this inner knowledge, this connection to the divine. But the hermit is not looking at his light. He's looking around him for a way to get unstuck. So I like that that is kind of represented here because it's emphasizing you are not trying to change your 3D world to change your self-concept. It is backwards. You have to change your self-concept. That way you don't accept a 3D world that tells you anything different. Okay? All right. So it's all within you. The change is within you. You are learning that. You have this wisdom in and around you already. And I feel like you're so excited to move forward. I do feel you embracing this sense of fearlessness. Like the page and the Knight of Wands are both really fearless, a little careless, a little reckless, but like maybe you need to embrace that instead of being so rigid and so scared and so worried about how things are going to plan out, maybe too logical in a sense. You know, um, I feel like the lightheartedness the feeling of safety, the feeling of trust that you have your own back is so important for your manifestation journey. And that is what's going to lead to this inner happiness, right? Um, this is going to lead you to a feeling of being surrounded by the type of people who celebrate you and enjoy you. This is marriage energy. So if this is talking about a relationship, then you are definitely leading yourself to becoming the type of person who believes in happy marriage, happy connection, happy, whatever. It doesn't even have to be marriage, you know, like happy connection. Let's see. we got seven of wands at the bottom, eight of pentacles, the ace of wands, queen of wands, the five of pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this is the energy that you come out of, right? Or that you're coming out of or, or reframing, right? At the seven of wands, it's not a negative card per se. It's defensive, right? It's someone who feels like they have to guard and protect that maybe they're not safe, that maybe they're under attack, maybe maybe they have something to defend, right? So that could be this fearful energy that you've lived in is feeling like you have to be on high defense at all times, but I feel like you're switching this to I'm defending new self. I'm defending the self that I want to be. I'm defending the life that I want to have and I'm not going to accept anything that doesn't align with that. And that means I'm not going to get all hyped up. Now this person is very much emotionally hyped up. They are, they are definitely triggered by their surroundings. Okay. But that's okay. I feel like you're taking the time to work on this energy, right? You're really putting a lot of consistent, repetitive, kind of monotonous effort into changing your thoughts, right? It's like this physical, like I've talked about how when you're trying to change your self-concept or change your life story, right? 
trying to change your life and learning about manifesting, it takes a lot of energy in the physical to stop yourself in your mental tracks on top of everything else that you have going around you, a 3D that's very triggering. It takes a lot of energy and I feel like you're already in that energy, but you're like, okay, I've already gone this far. I'm not going to stop now. I love that for you because that is bringing in new beginnings. It's bringing in new inspiration. You're seeing things change around you, right? I feel like you're starting to see the 3D start to conform to you. And remember, you're not looking for the 3D to change. You're looking to change you, okay? then the 3D will follow, but like if you're, the point is what you're focusing on, right? The 3D can't change your story. This is why, uh, this is why people, my own story, being a teenager, at one point I weighed 108 pounds and I still thought that I was fat in a negative way. I don't think fat's bad anymore, but back then I thought I was fat because my friends were 106 pounds. In seventh grade and mind you to get down to 108 pounds I had an eating disorder right it's just nothing outside of me the number on the scale didn't change the way I felt it didn't matter that I was in a size zero size zero pants it didn't matter because the story I told myself completely conflicted with the 3d right it didn't matter what the 3D showed me. The story that was true and that I felt and that I lived was in me. And that's why it's important to change your story within you, right? And then you get to stand in this confidence because you have completely rebuilt yourself. The Queen of Wands, ultimate confidence. Oh my gosh, I love that you have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands out here because they are like manifestation gold together. They are the perfect team for that, right? The Queen of Wands is very magical. That's why she has a black cat here. She embodies the confidence, the no doubt, you know, like she's not phased by things around her because she just knows that things work out for her, right? This is that energy here. And that's bringing you out of a time of feeling like things don't work out for you and that everyone lies to you. And that's why you have to hold yourself back with the Four of Pentacles. I love that you're coming out of this energy. I'm so very proud of you. Even if you're just now dipping your toes in, like I said, that's okay. You gotta start somewhere. And once you start getting that ball rolling, you'll just see how things completely change so, so freaking fast. I'm not even kidding. I've changed my whole life in three years. Like, in three years seems like a long time, but I can tell you looking back, three years is not a long time, okay? It's really not. And if you can look back three years, you'll realize the same thing too. Okay, Spirit, what do you want to tell what else do you want to tell me about this? I feel like this is your current energy, like you're you're getting used to this. So maybe I want to see. I'll clarify this and then I'll ask uh, what else we need to be aware of, okay? And tell me what else is going on, what good things are going on. you need to know about this for my wonderful darling three of cups judgment ten of wands the lovers four of pentacles six of swords the empress on bottom. Okay, this is kind of tying it. What reading was that? Oh, man, I don't remember which reading this was, but it was something about a friend, friend group kind of conflicting here. I feel like you're in this position now of having to reevaluate the current people that you have in your life which is often the case, like the current people that you have in your life often can parrot back the self-concept beliefs that you had before when you manifested your current reality, right? So I feel like it could be in this position. I'm so sorry, my nose is itching so bad. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> it's like a hair or something. Yeah, okay. I feel like you're in this place of reevaluating your current relationships, your current friends or family connections, because you're having this awakening about, you know, like 
your own self. Judgment here is pure spiritual awakening. This person is seeing their divine, true, purest self, right? The best self that they want to be and embody. And I feel like you're kind of recognizing that you need to be around people who celebrate you too, right? Who are really delighted in you. And that doesn't mean that you have to be like the center of their world by any means, but there's just something about true support here, right? Because I feel like the kind of relationships or people that you've had around you, you have had to carry a lot of the weight and burden to make things happen with the 10 of wands here. Um, I feel like you're also someone, because of your old self-concept, you maybe believe that you had to overgive, overdo, overprovide, overextend yourself in order to feel like you were lovable. Ten of Wands, the lovers. And I feel like you're realizing that this energy of feeling like I have to do so much never even opened you up to the possibility of true connection because you were putting on a type of facade to be worthy when really you were worthy without having to overdo anything. And then at the same time, because you overgive and then you have nothing left to give and you feel like people don't give back to you the same way, you feel like people don't give to you the same way that left you feeling hurt and disappointed, right? Uh, well, welcome to the human condition. It's very, very common, okay? I feel like you're coming out of this. I feel like you are no longer overextending yourself because you're like, you know what? I don't have to twist myself, contort myself in order to be worthy of respect and reciprocity and love and adoration. I don't have to do that for friends, family, lovers, not my job, right? I can still love someone without basically beating myself into the ground, trying to prove it and trying to prove that I'm worth loving in return. Luckily, I see you moving past this with the Six of Swords. You're moving past it, right? This is no longer, you're aware of it. You're trying to set it aside. You're trying to move forward. And I feel like you're stepping into this place of receptivity now with the Empress. Very much receiving, right? Uh, but also very fertile. It's like you're realizing that maybe what you did before was sort of pour into the potential of people. You could see their potential. You could see their highest, you know, uh, their highest potential. You poured into their potential, right? But then what ends up happening is because these people are not standing or living in their highest potential, they're still living in a lower I don't want to like criticize these people, but they're not their best self yet. So then they're taking advantage of the kindness and the generosity that you gave. And it's all subconscious. I will say that. I don't believe that it's a conscious thing. I do believe that you're recognizing that it's not their fault for taking everything that you gave to them. You're recognizing your responsibility for overgiving, right? Now, the Empress makes just as she's just as productive if not more than what you have been but it's because people and the world and energy is given to her first right it's like it's like you were trying to build a family with someone who didn't want to build family right and it's like you weren't being given the right tools you weren't being the seed wasn't being fertilized the right way for you to even get there even though you saw the potential of it so it's like you were investing up front in something that kept falling through I feel like you're realizing, no, I need to not invest until I see that it's actually worth the investment, right? And I feel like you're also realizing just how much more abundant that makes you. Okay, let's see. What else do we need to be aware of? Is there anything we need to be aware of right now? This will be the last one, and then I will close it off with some healing. Mm. Angel answers. I'm going to close it off with angel answers. Okay. Is there anything else we need to be aware of, Spirit? Is 
messy spreads. Oh my goodness. What else do we need to be aware of? Is there anything we need to be aware of right now? Knight of Pentacles. If you're looking for a quick fix, it's probably not going to be a quick fix. Okay, and you got to figure out why. What's the source of needing a quick fix? Knight of Cups reversed. Page of Cups on bottom. Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands. Ace of Swords. The world. Okay, there's not a quick fix here, okay? If you're someone who's looking at videos, how to manifest someone in one hour, how to get a text message in one hour, you're not thinking long term. And I hate to break it to you, but if you're thinking that short term, if you're thinking about just manifesting a text, just manifesting an apology, just manifesting something, then you are working out of changing the 3D to change you. And that is short term, it's short lived. Self validation is an ocean of supply in comparison to puddles of external validation. Spirit wants you to be very aware of this. Yes, it's very tempting to want to manifest something quick and easy and fast, but you're looking for long-term stability here, right? Then you have to do long-term stability habits. If you're wanting someone who's stable and solid for the long run, then you need to be embodying the state of being with someone who is solid, stable, and reliable in the long run, right? You need to be embodying and thinking and feeling the emotions of someone who's been with someone for 10 years and been through the ups and downs and like still there ready to cuddle at the end of the night, you know, with a bowl of popcorn watching a movie with their person, right? This is the feeling that you need to be embodying. If you're going into something trying to manifest an apology because you're still navigating out of your wounds and you want someone to tell you right now that you were worthy of being treated differently in the past, then you're still navigating out of your old self. You're still navigating out of the self that is not confident, right? And this is not me like hounding you. This is not me getting onto you. This is me just trying to tell you straight up, like I want you to feel successful. I want you to feel and know within you that you are worthy, right? I don't want you to rely on other people for that sense of worthiness because it all starts within you, period, okay? Um, this is also what spirit wants you to know. It's not just me, right? So I, I just feel like um, you gotta think big picture here when you're manifesting. Sure, if you wanna play around and manifest little things to get confident in manifesting, like if you're brand, brand new to manifesting, sure, go ahead, like th go look up the ladder method, right? The I forget what they called it, the ladder technique. Like, do, do fun little things like that. I'm not gonna tell you how to manifest or not, but I do want you to be aware of your long-term goals, right? Don't meddle with the middle. Don't meddle with the middle. You need to be past the reconciliation if you're trying, or maybe don't even want people from your past because you were an old self. You need to be embodying someone who doesn't need an apology from someone who aligned with a version of yourself that you don't wanna be, right? You deserve to give yourself the apology and give yourself the closure to move forward and be the version of self that you desire to be without anyone else's approval or without anyone else's validation. Like I said, we're not looking to change the 3D. If, if you're desperate to change the 3D, then that is sourcing from an insecurity within you that is not feeling worthy. We've got to start here, right? If you want long term, you got to start in here. You do your thing, you know, have fun with it. It's not too serious. Don't get too logical. Don't get, I'm not trying to be all like, it's got to be this way or that way. No, it, it doesn't. I just feel like I'm talking to someone who maybe often relies on external validation and in, in place of self-validation. And that is something that you really want to be working on. So... All right, that's gonna be my little tangent there. Let's get you some angel answers. And uh, I'll let you go. Okay. 
If you'd like to ask a question, go right ahead. I'm going to shuffle a few times uh, before I get the answer. 111 on the clock. 111. If you don't have a question, that's okay too. I will just kind of interpret them in the way I see fit as well. So, Spirit, we get ready to answer the question from my amazing darling here watching this. Please answer their question. Or give me the words that you want them to hear. Thank you. Okay, last time. Okay. All right, Spirit, can you please answer their question? Improving health. Unlikely. Choose a new direction. Oh, yes. Success. Romance. Wait, <laughs> a lot came out there. Okay. Improving health, especially when it comes to like manifesting, I always feel mental health. And I will say this every time, I am not telling you to replace any mental health needs, any mental health like diagnoses, diagnosis, diagnosis. My brain's not working right now. I'm not telling you to replace any medical needs, any prescription needs. I'm on an antidepressant myself and I'm a master manifester, okay? Now, I think you will notice how once you really focus on your self-concept, how much, how much things improve with your mental health because so many issues stem from one, chemistry, brain chemistry, things being wired wrong, absolutely, but there's also the confidence issue, the insecurity issue that leads to fear, that leads to doubt, that leads to worry, that leads to cortisol levels being raised, that leads to all of these things that then conglomerate and create a mental freaking prison, right? I feel like you're going to see how that starts unraveling, right? But if you are choosing to invest in certain people or situations that really bring out that really trigger that side of you, then maybe you need to choose something else for right now to get on your feet, to get on a, a path to new you, right? Um, down here we see, yes, success, romance. Yes, you're destined for success. You're destined for romance. You're destined for things going so well for you. It's not immediate though with the weight card. Like I said, it's not immediate. It's not a quick fix. If you're looking for a quick fix, then you're still navigating out of insecurity. You're still navigating out of feeling like you need out here to tell you that you're worthy instead of knowing within you that you're worthy no matter what, okay? You are worthy no matter what. I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope that this resonated for you uh, and your manifestation journey, whether it be about love or not. Um, yeah, tomorrow is Taco Tuesday. We're going to see who's talking about you. A little update on the shorts. So my precious three-year-old kind of broke my my little stand, my phone stand to record the shorts. I have a new stand that's out for delivery now, but like I wasn't able to record the shorts for this week yesterday like I normally do. So I'm going to be behind on the shorts this week and I apologize, but after when this thing comes, like it's a solid, I'm so excited to use it. I'm so excited. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to stop wasting your time. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I love you so much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or a lovely week or a lovely life. Awkward. Love you so much. Take care. Ta-ta.